Could I get you anything else? Inside Luan's homestyle cooking in Charlotte, North Carolina. How about a dinner roll of cornbread? Political opinions come and go with the lunch crowd. We're in trouble. Pretty much everything that he campaigned about and anything that he said he was going to do, he's made a valid effort. And things are definitely different since um, the Trump election has just been totally different. A new poll from the Associated Press NORC Center for Public Affairs Research finds 60 percent of Americans disapprove of the way President Donald Trump is handling his job. 38 percent approve. He loves America and I think he's concerned about the, the citizens and the working citizens. As Democratic candidates take the stage to debate for the first time this week, this AP NORC poll shows Democratic voters already zeroing in on what they're looking for in a candidate. We do not need a man. I would, what I would love to see is a, a woman of any color with a vice president who's a man. 40 percent of Democratic registered voters agree with San Francisco resident Kara Fallon. They'd be more excited to vote for a candidate if she were a woman. 36 percent would be more excited voting for someone who is younger. I'm looking to thin the herd a little bit. Um, I'd like to see uh, I'd like to see each candidate's take on on the real issues, corruption in government, corruption in Congress. Um, and uh, how they're going to keep the economy going. Among Democratic voters, experience tops the list of qualities they're looking for in a nominee. 73 percent say they'd be more excited to vote for someone with experience in elected office. Far fewer say the same of someone with experience running a business. I think it only makes sense that so many people would clamor to get rid of Donald Trump. As a moderate independent, I don't have strong opinions on either side. I just really want to see some actions and some plans. Action and honesty. Just being totally honest. Are what many voters are looking for. If you're going to do something, do it. If you can't do it, say you can. As more Americans turn their attention to 2020. I'll see you soon. Sarah Blake Morgan, The Associated Press.